What is the crack everybody my name is Jagger Potato and the video you're watching currently is going to be the last Call of Duty video well the last standalone Call of Duty video on my channel the next one you'll see will be either part of fun with friends or it will be part of Potato Plays or something however just due to the fact that I don't enjoy the game anymore Call of Duty won't be appearing on my channel standalone well Call of Duty multiplayer won't be appearing on my channel anymore, standalone. So as promised on Tuesday, this is supposed to be a very heartwarming commentary. Christians, you'll enjoy this because it kind of shows the glory of God and all that crack there and how amazing he is. For atheists and other people, you might not enjoy this as much, but please don't let that put you off. If you're quite open-minded, just sit back, have a listen, or enjoy the gameplay. What I'm going to talk about today is my friend that is currently in hospital. Back in January he was actually involved in a car crash where um, a man in our car obviously came out in front of him. He was driving along a dual carriageway. He came out in front of him which uh, caused him to crash into him which then forced my friend over the middle embankment into the oncoming traffic where he was struck by another two cars. Both him and his girlfriend were very critical. Then they came out of it for a very long time. Uh, a lot of people got together and prayed for them both. And a lot of people were constantly thinking about them and praying to God that they would make it out. And eventually they did. For the guy, there was actually very little of him left unbroken. Uh, he broke a lot of body parts. He broke his legs, he broke his collarbone, he broke his... Um, I think it's called the sternum, which is that bit just in your chest. It's actually not your sternum, whatever. And the girl had a lot of internal cuts and bruises and ruptures, and they both managed to come out of it pretty much unscathed. However, recently, two weeks ago actually, my friend, the guy, was rushed into hospital again with septicemia. At the time of me recording this, he's actually stable. So here's praying that that condition hasn't changed by the time this video goes out. But what's most miraculous about his condition is that once you get treatment for septicemia, there is actually only a 10% chance that you will live. If you ever meet this guy, you will realize of how much of a stubborn bugger that he is. So him surviving a 10% chance operation is not very surprising. But also at the same time, it was very much to do with all of his family and friends, including myself, getting together and praying for him. Now, to be honest, I have never been at a prayer group outside of my Christian union and university, but this is the first one. And I was in a room with people that I've never spoke to, never seen, never even heard of, and this guy had brought all of us together. It was amazing to see how much <laughs> this one person has an effect on everybody around him and in his community. He's not an old guy, he's actually only 20. But again, he's just widely known throughout Northern Ireland. There'd be very few places in Northern Ireland that you could go that they haven't heard of this guy. Well, you would have to be around the age of 20 to know of this guy in the first place. But people care about him so much, they're putting up constant Facebook updates about him and people go to see them. Then they're putting Facebook updates of how he's getting on. And it's just so amazing to see just a small comment of something like he shouted at me today because I stood in his catheter. Very painful thing, but he's in a lot of pain already. So the fact that he's even able to complain to his sister, that's who put that up by the way, about that is amazing signs and progress. He actually, on the day of recording this, which is the Tuesday before the 16th, he took a turn not for the worst, but he just took a turn last night. But already they're putting up new they're putting out comments saying that he's fine, he's getting through it, he just needs some antibiotics and he'll be fine again. It's miraculous what this guy is doing. He is defying all odds. And it's not just with the doctor's help, it's with God's help. Whether you think that or whether you believe that or not, for someone to survive a ten percent chance operation at any age is a miraculous thing. Some of the Bible verses that have been put on his page are things like, I have made you and I will carry you, I will sustain you and I will rescue you, which is Isaiah 46 verses, verse 4, sorry. Also Psalm 41 verse 3, the Lord sustains them on their sick beds and restores them from their bed of illness. Like all these people are getting all these Bible verses and sending it to this guy. His Facebook is literally flooded. Comments and get well soon's and encouragement for him and his family. I just really hope that 
I, if something happened to me, that I would get the same adoration from people. But I don't think I'd be as heavy as this guy, because this guy is literally a legend around our parts. <laughs> It's seeing how much of a recovery that this guy is making that just shows that the Lord is real and that he is watching over this guy and making sure that he's getting healed. And all of us coming together and asking the Lord to help him is having such an effect. I've seen prayer work a few times, but never have I seen so many people get together and pray and results like this. For those that aren't Christians, it's stuff like this that makes me wonder why haven't you realized that God loves you and he wants to help you with your life and he just constantly cares for you even though you're saying things like oh I don't believe in him I don't care I don't want anything to do with him he still loves and cares for you and he still wants to be a part of your life sadly I think what has happened with Christianity is that we've concentrated well not we the Christians have concentrated so much on what not to do, what we can't do, whereas we should be concentrating and telling people what we can do and what we should be doing and how God helps us do these things every day and tell them stories of, like my friend, who God is helping right now live and come back to us and live a fulfilled life and serve God in more ways that he can. So yeah, I kind of promised you a heartwarming story. As I say, I hope that nothing's gone wrong by the time that this video goes out. I'm pretty sure that with the amount of people praying for him and with God on his side because he literally, there's no way that you cannot think that God is not with this guy. <laughs> because he's just defying all nods. He was up walking the other day. This guy that's had septicemia for a week was up walking. Like, that is mad. This guy is literally a legend. He is a stubborn bugger, but he is a legend. And I just hope that he gets better and comes back to us. I don't think he'll ever see this video. Kinda hope he doesn't. <laughs> but ah oh well. If you have any questions, if you non-Christians, or if you Christians have any questions about the guy or anything, then please just feel free to ask in the comment section. For you Christians, I would urge you to pray for this guy. Um, just keep in your prayers. You don't need to know. I don't feel like you need to know his name. Just keep him thinking about him. Just pray for him. Every little helps, really. And yeah, so next week I'm going to be starting some new videos. I really don't know where I'm going to go with them. I really don't know what's going to happen. It's all very exciting. Hopefully um, my friend will be back soon to share all these moments with me. But anyway guys, as always, my name is Jack of Potato. I am a Christian. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this type of video and more fun stuff as well, hit that subscribe button. I will see you all next time.